Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Sam and this is my kitchen. Today we're going to be making a beautiful balsamic chicken. So, I have one large chicken breast. I have beautiful balsamic vinegar. I have extra virgin olive oil. I have some rosemary, salt and pepper, paprika, and honey. If you can get your honey locally from a market, I would, I would uh, suggest that. Fresh honey is always better, but use what you can find. I have a rolling pin. You don't need one of these. If you have a large glass bottle or something heavy that's round that you can just drag across it, it's going to flatten out our chicken. So what I've done is I've put my chicken down on a cutting board and I've saran wrapped it. So my pin is going to stay nice and clean. This is wooden. Wood tends to be very porous. We don't want any bacteria from the chicken getting into our rolling pin. So I've completely covered the chicken with saran wrap and I'm just going to gently roll across the chicken. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to distribute it so that some areas of the chicken are not thicker than others. What that's going to do is it's just going to even it out so it cooks evenly across the whole chicken. It's going to make it tender everywhere. It's not going to have some areas that are overcooked and some areas that are undercooked. We don't want any raw section sections in the chicken. So we're just evening it out what I'm doing is I'm just rolling back and forth across it just to flatten it out so it's all the same depth, the same thickness. There we go. You don't have to completely flatten it out, we just want it somewhat symmetrical. Be careful as you're pressing not to press too hard because what you don't want to do is have that pin catch the top layer of the skin on the chicken and drag it. It's going to tear up pieces of flesh with it. You just want to graze over it. Don't fight it too much. It shouldn't be too difficult. You don't want it if, it... if it starts to feel difficult, you're probably applying too much pressure. There we go. It's nicely evening out. I'm just going to roll it over a few more times. There we go. Just making sure we have the same thickness everywhere across that chicken. Beautiful. So what you saw before versus what you see now, that beautiful flat wide chicken breast. I might actually need a bit of a wider pan than I anticipated because that was a very, very large chicken breast. So for this recipe I'm going to be showing you the uh, single size portion so this will feed one person. You can double the recipe from what I show you to make it for two people or triple it for three people, but I'll show you the single portion size for this dish for our balsamic chicken. There we go. Just going to flatten it out a little bit more on this side. Beautiful, nice, flattened out chicken breast. Very even all the way across. And I haven't torn it up, so we haven't lost any of the meat, we haven't shredded it. All we've done is flattened it out, we've given the chicken a nice massage. There we go. I'll show you again now the plastic's off. Just throw that plastic away when you're done with it, don't try to save it, because it has touched the chicken, we don't want to contaminate anything. There we go, I'm going to return my rolling pin to where it goes. There we go didn't anticipate that being so difficult. Anyway, so that rolling pin didn't touch the chicken, it only touched the plastic, so that doesn't need to be cleaned, but the cutting board will, and you'll need to throw away that plastic wrap because it touched the chicken. Now we're going to very, very heartily season our chicken. I'm using the pepper first. I'm pouring it into my hand, nice middle of the palm portion. Spread it across. Maybe two of those, actually, because we have a very wide chicken breast. We're going to take our salt, same thing, middle of the palm, that might be a little bit much, I'll test it out, see how much it covers. You're going to sprinkle it across, I always say pour into your hand, don't pour from the bottle onto the actual meat, just if it comes out too quickly you can't retract 
spice. You can't retract your seasoning. So we always want to make sure we don't do too much. I had extra, so I'm going to pour it back in. I have paprika, same thing, into the palm. Be a little bit hearty with the paprika because it really adds a beautiful spice to our dish. I'm going to sprinkle it across. There we go. Excellent. I'm going to add a little bit of rosemary, but not too much because we're going to be adding more later. Right over the top of it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our chicken breast, flip it over, pat it down. I'm going to wash my hands. There we are. Now I'm going to do the same thing, season the other side. I'm going to take my black pepper, middle of the palm. If you do want to measure it out, it would probably be about half of a teaspoon, but always, I always just go for the center of the palm. That's a good amount for seasoning per chicken breast. There we go. I'm going to take a little bit more salt, not too much. Fill up the center of the palm. Sprinkle that. A little bit more paprika, center of the palm. Sprinkle that. There we go. A little bit more rosemary. Sprinkle that. And then just pat it into the chicken. We want it to kind of stay in there as we marinate it. I'm going to wash my hands again. Anytime, let me stop that so we can hear ourselves think. Anytime you're going to handle chicken, make sure you wash your hands before and after. I did wash my hands before, but always wash them afterwards so you don't contaminate anything in the kitchen. We don't want anyone getting sick from our cooking. There we go. So I have a nice deep bowl here. We're going to put our chicken breast into the bowl. So, for our balsamic vinegar, let me get rid of my cutting board. I have... A measuring cup. This is one third of a cup, one third. I'm going to fill with my balsamic vinegar. Beautiful dark balsamic vinegar. There we go. We're going to pour that over our chicken. Lovely. And then for our honey, I have a tablespoon here. I'm going to use one full hearty tablespoon of that <gasps> honey. There we go. Pour that over, drizzle it. Try to get it everywhere because that's going to be a lovely flavor combined with the balsamic. Excellent. And then both of those can go into the sink. Then I'm going to take plastic wrap again, and we're going to cover the chicken, and we're going to marinate it in the refrigerator for one hour. So I'll see you again in one hour. One hour later. Welcome back. An hour later, I've taken my chicken out of the refrigerator. As you can see, it's turned a lovely brownish color as it's been marinating in that balsamic vinegar. It's taken on that nice dark rich brown and the smell coming off of it is beautiful from those spices. Excellent. I'm going to grab a medium spatula and then I have a very large skillet. This is a non-stick pan. I love my ceramic non-stick pans. We're going to put that Onto the burner, I'm probably going to move to this burner here. We're going to turn up the heat all the way to high for now. We're going to reduce it once it gets hot enough, but for now I'm trying to bring it all the way up as hot as it can go before we drizzle our olive oil into the pan. Um, for this, I don't measure it as much as I do drizzle it all the way across the pan. You don't want it floating in oil. So when we put the chicken in, you don't want the chicken to float in the oil. You don't want any you don't want it to be watery. You just want enough to coat the entire bottom of the pan 
and, and give it Make sure that when the chicken goes in, it coats all of it, but you don't want it to, to sit in it. You don't want it to soak in that oil. There we go. Pan is definitely getting hotter. We want it as hot as we can get it before we add that oil in. We want to heat that oil up really quickly. We don't want cold oil sitting in the pan bubbling up. We want to add the oil as it's hot. There we go. Ooh, that's hot. There we go. So we're going to just watch as I drizzle all the way across the bottom of the pan. So I'm going to wave it around a bit. Just tilt it from side to side to side. Coat all the bottom of the pan till we have that nice watery consistency at the bottom, but it's not so deep that the oil is going to sit and, and soak into the chicken. I'm going to add a little bit more just to make sure our chicken does not stick. And then our chicken is ready. It's got that lovely brown. Make sure it's been marinating in the refrigerator. Don't leave it out to marinate. There we go. And make sure it's covered while it's in the refrigerator because otherwise you're going to take the chicken out and it's going to taste like whatever your refrigerator tastes like, which is usually not good. So make sure to cover it so it keeps that lovely balsamic taste. There we go. Our oil is nice and hot. It's nice watery consistency. We're going to pick up our chicken and we're just going to drop it in. We have that beautiful hiss that we love. And then I'm going to turn down the heat to about an 8. That's just below the highest setting. So if yours is numbered, I have mine at an 8. Otherwise, just a little bit down from the highest setting. And then I'm going to take these juices and I'm just going to pour them around the chicken for now. so that liquid gets everywhere, the oil kind of conjoins with our balsamic vinegar. It's not going to completely blend in this pan, but mix it as much as you can. And then just let that chicken sit. We're only going to flip our chicken once. Alrighty, so our chicken is almost ready to turn. Our sauce has very much condensed down to a very thick sauce. We have to watch it, make sure it does not burn. But that beautiful consistency will give the chicken its classic dark color when we're finished. There we go. I'm going to lift up the side. That looks about ready to flip. Excellent. As you can see, we've got that beautiful, almost caramelized color on our chicken. None of it's burned. It's just a very nice dark sauce. We just have to wash that sauce, make sure it doesn't get any darker than that so it doesn't start to char. Now add a little bit more oil to the corner of the pan. Never pour it directly onto the chicken. Just pour it into the corner of the pan so that it can get hot before we start to blend it. You never want to add cold oil right on top of your food. There we go. There we go. So I'm going to take a little bit more paprika, just judging by the color and the smell of it. I'm going to add a little bit onto the top, not a lot. I'm going to dip my pinky in. I'm just going to taste that sauce, see how it tastes, see what it needs. Mm. It's a beautiful sauce. It does need more salt and pepper. Those are our base spices. Those are needed in every single dish we're going to cook. There we go. Gives it flavor. And then I'm going to add my rosemary. The we're a little bit sparing in the beginning, so I'm adding a nice amount to the pan, right on top of the chicken. It's beautiful. I'm going to flip it over just to mix up those spices. Perfect. Reduce the heat a little bit down to about a six. Then I'm going to come in. Usually don't do this, but I don't want my pan to dry out, so I'm going to add a tiny bit more balsamic vinegar to the corner of the pan. There we go. Awesome. 
beautiful color on there. Just finishing it off, letting it simmer. I've reduced it all the way down a little past six, just so we can get a nice low simmer without burning our sauce. Excellent. Got a nice consistency with the sauce. Our chicken is still tender, but cooked through. So now all I'm going to do, I shut off the heat on my pan. I'm going to grab my plate. Beautiful. This goes lovely with some fresh broccoli or some rice on a bed of nice mashed potatoes or mashed cauliflower. It's a beautiful chicken. It's got a beautiful color on it. The consistency is amazing. The smell is amazing and that sauce is just thick enough to give it a nice sweet but tangy kind of savory taste to it. It's incredible. So definitely try this out for yourself. It's really easy to make and especially if you're home alone for the evening, it's a nice easy dish to make by yourself. Nice single serving, no wasted ingredients, no fuss. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.